I struggle with Edward Snowden in the sense that um, I've always worked on the assumption that um, if the government or agents of the government want to find out what I'm looking at on the internet or read the emails that I'm sending or listen to my phone calls, they can do so at the flick of a switch. And that's sort of part and parcel of living in um, this technologically sophisticated world that we all inhabit. Um, and I also think that the accusations that he was making and that Glenn, Glenn Greenwald was leveling in The Guardian and so forth, that um, this snooping is um, widespread and individually targeted, I just think is that the public have been misled on that. If they, if they want to build a case against somebody, they can do, but nobody is listening to your phone calls, nobody is reading your email unless they absolutely have to, they're far too busy, to be honest. Um, and obviously the more basic kind of moral point is that you have a guy who is um, a sort of uh, poster boy for freedom of speech and so forth, and yet he's falling into the hands of the Chinese in Hong Kong, and then he's going to um, the Putin-held Moscow, which is not exactly a kind of um, bastion of human rights and free speech. So there's a, there's a hypocrisy at work there, which I don't, um, which I think is very obvious. I, I don't really buy this um, uh, knight in shining armor routine. I think it's, I think um, it's false.